some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment react to the George Zimmerman verdict. While rioting and protests broke out in South Central Los Angeles in the wake of George Zimmerman's not guilty verdict, some of the world's biggest athletes and entertainers expressed their thoughts and frustrations at the all-star celebrity ESPY Awards kickoff party held at the Playboy Mansion. Wow, that, that's disturbing to me. I'm still hurt behind that because, you know, you try to figure, you know, something should have been done, you know, manslaughter or something. I mean, to get all free and then give him his gun back? Wow. Devastation. I anger. Uh, it was very sad. I was just very, very sad. It was a very somber time. I believe that this was something that America had a chance to make a statement about. And instead, the statement was the same old statement. The same statement for Oscar Grant from the of Fruitville Station that the film is about of Emmett Till. It's a tragic situation. I just send my sympathies out to the, you know, to, to, to the Martin family and everything that they're going through. You know, the loss of a child, I can't even possibly imagine what they're going through right now. Unfortunately, I called it a long time ago. I knew that, you know, it's just... Did you know there's a lady in Florida that shot her gun in the air? In, in the air to stop her boyfriend from attacking her. She got 20 years. Black woman shot a gun in the air to stop her boyfriend from attacking her. Like a warning shot, 20 years. I was a little taken aback, truthfully. It kind of caught me off guard, you know. My, my, my initial reaction was, you know, pain and, and anguish and, you know, really felt sad for his family. You know, but I, I definitely do, I like the support that people have shown and, you know, it's, it's brought a lot of people together and, you know what I'm saying, I think something, you know, we have to make something come from this and not just be upset about the situation. There's a lot of dialogue about uh, profiling um, and there's going to be a, I think there's going to be a change in legislation and um, I think it's going to change a, 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 the way we view, you know, um, profiling and um, just, you know, the controversy of black and white. I hope things stay peaceful. I know there was a lot of protests and rallies and for the most part, things stay peaceful, and that's what you want, you know. If you want to go out there, yeah, you can do more um, positive by protesting in, in the right way, you know. Whenever you just want to bring violence and anger, it, uh, it can only make things worse. And while Trayvon Martin supporter Chris Brown didn't stop to speak with reporters, Brown did perform inside along with new artist Ty Snap. I'm about to perform some songs off of my mixtape, Blue Flame, hosted by Don Cannon right here, you feel me? So it's on that piv, you can find it, taste that. Well, that's it from here at the Playboy Mansion. Be sure to stay tuned for more of our coverage of the ESPY Awards and the George Zimmerman verdict. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Jasmine Simpkins.